Let's learn how to apply for Pasco County's Take Stock and Children program. We'll start on the online application form, which can be found on our website, pascoeducationfoundation.org. This online form will allow you to use Google Translate if you need to translate this application into another language. Then you'll select your county. Please be sure to select Pasco County. This confirms that you attend school in Pasco. If you attend school in another county, please be sure to select that county's program. Then you'll read through our application directions and program requirements, and you'll also find the contact information for our program director. Please contact us with any questions. We also recommend contacting us once you submit your application so that way we can confirm it's been received. Next, you'll find the student pre-qualification questions. These questions allow you to confirm that you meet the minimum eligibility requirements for take stock and children participation. For the first question regarding income, please be sure to go to pascoeducationfoundation.org to look at our income eligibility requirements document. This outlines our income requirements as well as what type of documentation we'll need to submit with this application. Then you'll take, be taken to the first page of the application. This page is pretty simple. You'll simply just let us know how you heard about our program and you'll enter the student's initial information. So the high school that they attend, in this example, our student will attend Pasco High School. We'll put in the student's name and the student's phone number. If the student does not have a home phone number, you would simply enter their cell phone number in each space. Throughout this application, for any question that asks for student information, please be sure it's the student's information you're entering and not the parents. There will be questions asking specifically for parent information. This student email address that you enter is very important. That email address is where the application will be sent if you use our save for later option. Now you'll be taken to the full application form. This application can take up to one hour to complete, so that save for later option is important. You can find the save for later option by scrolling all the way down, selecting save, and then selecting the next button. After you select the next button, you'll be taken to a second page where you hit submit again. If you do not hit submit again, your application will not be saved and you will not have a link sent to the student email address associated with the application. So please make sure you hit submit. And then when you go to re-access your application, go to the student's email address and use that link to resume your space to the application. I'm going to go back so I can show you how to submit the application when you're ready. It'd be in a similar spot. You would hit, simply hit submit and then the next button and you would again be taken to a second page where you would have to hit the submit button a second time. If you do not hit the submit button on the second page, your application will not be saved nor will it be submitted. A few things I wanna highlight about this application form are the free response questions. You can find that in the student section and then the parent section. These fields are important. Any field as a free response is more like an essay type of question, particularly the student statement and the two parent statements. So please be sure to take your time when completing these statements and provide full and complete answers as they do weigh heavily in the selection process. A few other things to note on this application is please take your time on the full application as a whole and provide full and complete information. For example, if you have two parents or guardians in the household, please make sure you include information for both of them. If there's any special circumstances, make sure that's included in the parent statement as well. I also want to show you where to upload your file for your income documentation that is required for a Take Stock and Children application. That would be the current tax years form 1040 that has the student applicant listed as a dependent. You would hit this add file button and you would upload your tax return there. If your family does not file taxes, simply refer to our document at pascoeducationfoundation.org for the other options of what can be uploaded in those situations. If you have any questions when applying, again, please reach out to our program and we hope to receive your application soon.